Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today's featured event is going to be the showcase of the MSI GT80 Titan. This is a full 18.4 inch high-end gaming laptop slash desktop replacement. So being that this is a big release and a big laptop, today we're going to be doing a big review for you and make sure that we touch on all the different details that you would like to know about this unit before you purchase it. So let's go ahead and kick things off by starting at the basics and we're going to do the same thing that you would be doing when you first get your laptop and that's unboxing it. You do get actually quite a few accessories with the Titan. So first thing we pulled out is going to be a nice vacuum sealed backpack that you can carry the laptop and all its accessories around in. As you can clearly see it is a double box unit. The outside box is plain and makes it good for transportation so it's not too flashy as to catch attention especially if it's left at your doorstep. The interior box is the one that's decorative with all the different colors branded with the model of the laptop and all the different branded features you'll find inside of it. So let us stand by in anticipation and awe as our brilliant unboxing model gets inside of the interior box and we can crack it open and see what kind of goodies are inside. Alright, so now we have the interior box open. We can get inside of there and open up all the other accessories. First things first, on the left hand side the small black box has our AC to DC power adapter. And you can see it is fairly large and it does supply a lot of power as needed for the system like this. We have dual video cards, a large screen, and a lot of other hardware. And all of those are going to demand a lot of power so that they perform properly. In the center of the box we have the laptop which is supported by these foam inserts. The inserts are there to help prevent any kind of shock damage, to keep it from moving around. And then we have the bag underneath of those, and that's there to help prevent it from getting any kind of scratch damage. There's even a secondary plastic bag inside of the first, just to further give you a little bit more protection. So that's the last of the packing material, and now we have the GT80 fully unboxed. We still have more things in the box itself though, so let's go ahead and fish those out. So our first cool extra is going to be inside of this smaller box here. This is something really unique and it's exclusive to the GT80 Titan. If you didn't already know, you'll know now that the Titan comes with Cherry MX Brown mechanical gaming keyboard switches. And one of the things about the Cherry keyboard is that you're able to replace the keycaps rather easily. So MSI gives you five gold colored keycaps. Four of them are the WSAD keys and the fifth is a MSI gaming key. The device on the right is a keycap puller, so you just click it over the top of a keycap, pull it straight up, and then you can press the new keycap on top. So if you'd like to have those WSAD keys swapped out, you have that option. And so now the next extra we have hiding away in the box is actually a full-sized desktop-like foam wrist rest. So being that this is a desktop replacement, this might be something you find that you want to use. It's optional and, of course, nice to have it included in the box. Then we have a bag containing all the standard affair, product, driver, disc, manual, and warranty information. And last but not least, we have a cute little keychain. So lots of little extras to come with this laptop. Now from the unboxing, we jump straight to the informational phase of the review. And part of the information you need to know is how heavy is this laptop? We have 10 pounds and 11 ounces for the laptop itself in the current configuration. If we then weigh in the power adapter, it comes in at three pounds and two ounces. And that means our total carry weight is about 14 pounds if you carry the laptop and the power adapter. So now let's go ahead and open the laptop up and see what we have inside. First thing you'll see is a giant size cloth. This is between the screen and the keyboard. Helps keep everything from getting scratched during shipping, but you can keep that after the fact. And that's a microfiber cloth to keep any dust and fingerprints off your keyboard and screen. Now, first look, you'll see this is way different than your regular laptop layout. You don't have a touchpad down below the keyboard. Instead, it's over to the right-hand side. This same touchpad also doubles as your number pad. It's digital, and it has dual functions. Really unique and different for this model laptop. Hanging out just above that touchpad, we have our three operational buttons. There's a fan override, graphics card button, and our power button, so that's how we'll turn on the unit. Now as for the keyboard, you'll notice it's definitely way different than your standard laptop keyboard. As we already mentioned, it's a full-blown mechanical keyboard like you'd find on a desktop. And they even managed to throw in backlighting, which we'll show you in a little bit. So really great keyboard. 
Up above this aluminum rest area here has stenciled artwork and underneath of it is going to be easy access to your hard drive and RAM. Up above the screen we have a 720p HD webcam and the screen itself is going to be 18.4 inches diagonally with a 1080p resolution. It's a matte type screen so it's non-glossy. Just throwing that palm rest up here so you can see the size of it as compared to the laptop and the height so it matches up to the keyboard really well. One thing that the Titan really has going for it is if you're looking for a desktop experience on a laptop, this is as close as you're going to get. You have the desktop keyboard, you have a very large screen giving you great visibility and screen real estate. Everything in here is amazing as far as how it's put together and the way it looks and the way it performs. So now that we have the unit powered up, you can see the backlighting coming through on the keyboard. It's a red LED backlighting. That is the only color choice. Of course, you can turn it off or dim it to different levels if you'd like. We'll get into a little bit more detail about that awesome keyboard here in just a minute. But we're going to go ahead and take our 360 degree tour of the laptop. So you get a feel of its size, form factor, and of course we need to cover all of our interfaces we have available to us for input and output. So starting from the left hand side in the front, we have our two 3.5 millimeter connections for audio. One is headphone out, one's microphone in. Then we have an optical SPDIF output for digital audio connections, three USB 3.0 ports, an SD card reader, and our optical drive bay. Below the optical drive is gonna be one of the air intakes so you can get air into the system for its cooling. As we spin around to the back, you'll see the matching exhaust vent for that, so that's where the hot air comes out. Moving in towards the center, there's an RJ45 jack, that's for your local networking, the four pin power port there for charging and running off of mains power, an HDMI output, and two mini display port outputs. Now as far as video outputs go, the HDMI and display port can work in conjunction with each other. You can have two external displays going at the same time. So that gives you a total of three screens, including the laptop screen. The corner has the matching intake and exhaust for cooling, and we have two more USB 3.0 ports. So we have a total of five USB 3.0 ports, and there's actually no USB 2.0 on this unit, so we've upgraded to USB 3.0 completely. And now just a really quick look at the touchpad. The dual purpose touchpad, which also doubles as our number pad. So right now we have it in number pad mode, you can see it lights up in red to show you where the keys are at. Because they're not physical keys, you will have to probably look at it and know which key you're pressing, but your left and right click buttons are still actual physical buttons, so you don't have to worry about looking for those. And now we're just gonna do one more quick 360 degree tour so you can get a feel for the size and form factor and how the unit looks when it's in its closed position. One thing of interest to point out while we have the laptop in its closed position is that even though this is a full desktop replacement type laptop and it has a large 18.4 inch screen so it has a good size footprint, it's actually very thin compared to other laptops in its same class. So MSI did a good job with the thickness. Now we're going to move into the inside of the computer. We finished off the outside view. Let's look at our device manager. You'll see, very important here, we have the two NVIDIA GTX 980 mobile video cards. So top end video cards, and we have two of them in SLI. We do also see here in our network adapters that we have Killer for both the wired and wireless networking. So that means we have all those really cool features that Killer puts in their software to help with latency and gaming advantages. Our monitor panel number and our screen resolution, which is 1080p. Also, just a quick glance of the MSI Gaming Center software, which is really cool. You can do a lot of things in here. All right, so now we're quickly jumping over into some benchmarks, and we'll start off things with some noise benchmarks. So when we're talking about noise benchmarks in the reviews, we're talking about how much noise does the system make when it's cooling itself. And what we're using here is a, a decibel meter, and we're placing it around multiple test points near the exhaust and near the palm area around the laptop. And the best way to actually interpret these results is to watch other reviews that we've done and compare one laptop's results to another because you can't directly compare what we're seeing on the meter here to what you would hear in real life since you're not gonna have your ear right next to the exhaust and you're not gonna be in a totally silent room. So these are worst case scenarios. 
just to give you a benchmark for comparison. Right now we are running a benchmark to put the system under load, so this is going to be louder than an idle state, but not quite as loud as if we had induced the turbofan state or we're running a very extreme benchmark, say like fire strike. Now with our quick noise levels check out of the way, it's time to move into our temperature testing. This is a really easy benchmark to read. We're just reading our temperature with an infrared thermometer. We're first checking the exhaust here. We want high readings because high readings mean that the heat is leaving the system. As we move around to the front of the system, when we check the areas like the keyboard and the palm rest area, that's where you want to see the lower numbers because those are the areas that you as a user come in contact with. And if you feel heat on your hands, that's an uncomfortable situation. So all the cooling is working really well, it looks like. And we'll check for hot spots near where you're actually going to be touching. Now since this is a non-traditional design, the palm rest is actually above the keyboard. So the chances are you're not going to be touching it. But despite that, we see the temperatures are actually nice and low. So there will be no issues there with heat. The keyboard itself is all plastic and there's not going to be any heat carrying through that. Now bouncing back to the noise test, we're actually turning on the turbo fan state now. We're inducing the worst case scenario by putting the fans up to 100% speed. All right, so you're still with us, and now we're at one of the parts that you definitely want to see, and that's the performance benchmarks. Starting off with 3D Mark 11, we got over 15,000 for the performance score. And here we have a quick glance at the GPU-Z information on the video cards, if you'd like to pause and look at it. And here we also have all of the thermal information we collected during that benchmark. CPU about 80 degrees Celsius max, which is great, but the GPUs are very, very good. 62 degrees and 70 degrees on both of the video cards at max load. That's a really great cooling for the GPU. And our next benchmark, we have Fire Strike finishing up right now. We want to go ahead and take a look at our score there, 13,342. The really cool thing about Fire Strike is we get all of the detailed graphs that show all the frames per second, GPU, and CPU temperature during the testing. So a lot of good information here. If at any point in time you want to take a closer look, just pause at the video for a second. And all the system information down below. Fire Strike Extreme, 7,448. And of course, our same graphs and information as before. Thermal monitoring over here shows that CPU still 80 degrees, more or less 62 degrees and 71 degrees. So very consistent temperatures with both the CPU and GPU throughout all of the testing. Back to the noise monitor testing again. Here is just testing the speaker system. Now this has a very high-end sound system with four independent speakers and then your subwoofer. So five speakers in total. Of course, Dyn Audio is the one providing that sound system for you, but it's running off of a creative backbone for the hardware and software side. Alright ladies and gents, you know where we're going with this. When we see the bottom of the laptop, that means it's time to take things apart. So a few things to take note of down here. This is where our subwoofer is at. Right next to that is a screw hole we're going to come back to in a minute because that gives us some important access. We do have a warranty sticker here letting us know that void if tampered. So keep in mind, new system, you might not want to void the warranty. And we have a lot of cooling openings there to get air into the system. Lots of screws to take out to take that bottom panel off, some short, some long, so make sure you keep track of them and make sure they go back where they came from. 
when we get the bottom panel off, we're going to see some of the hardware. You as a user should not have too much of a reason to come into the bottom panel, believe it or not. You have two RAM slots and they're both already populated with the system RAM. We have our internal battery and of course we can see all of the heat pipes that connect to our cooling fans to cool the dual GPU solution in the CPU. These are MXM form factor video cards so they should be able to get swapped out at some point in time in the future if there was a better video card to put into the system but since it's already coming with the top end video cards chances are you won't ever need to do that either. We do now get a chance to take a second look at that system subwoofer now without the grill on top of it so you can see tiny speaker but it does pack a big punch and it makes a very big difference to the way the audio sounds as if you didn't have it. So you might have noticed also while we were down here there's some things missing and I also hinted that there's not much a reason for you to come to the bottom panel and that's because we have this screw hole I previously mentioned that shows a RAM and hard drive icon just a single screw there and one here so two screws in total you have to remove from the bottom without voiding the warranty and it lets you open up this top panel. This is where you're much more likely to come in as a user if you wanted to upgrade this system. So now when we take that off we're going to see the missing hardware we were looking for earlier. Here we have two SSDs, these are M2 form factor. We see two unoccupied system RAM slots there and we see our two and a half inch mechanical hard drive. So there you have it, plenty of opportunities for upgrading with the system RAM and with your storage. You can actually install up to four M2 SSDs on here so you can increase the capacity or the speed depending on how you'd like to set them up. So before we head out, we have one thing left for show and tell on the product showcase today and that's a full disassembly of the cooling system. This gives you a really great look of everything that goes into it and of course those great NVIDIA GTX video cards. We have one on the right, one on the left with our CPU sitting right in the center. So a very symmetrical setup here as far as how the cooling solution and the motherboard was put together. And so everybody, with the final disassembly, most unfortunately comes the final part of a review and we have to bring everything to a close. We do really hope you enjoyed the full detailed review of the MSI GT80 Titan. It's a great laptop and we'd hope you would like to learn more about it. To do that, just visit our website, gentechpc.com, and there we have the full product specifications and the current pricing and availability. If you're holding on to any questions that our review didn't answer for you, then feel free to contact us by phone or email, and we'll be sure to get those questions answered for you. So we just want to remind you once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.